Okay, this is an astilbe. And the way to divide them is to pull them apart from the roots. You were able to. This is an astilbe, and I'm dividing it. And the way you divide it is you pull it apart at the roots. Got some grass in it. Okay, so that is one plant. They like to be wet. They like to keep their feet kind of wet. Now this is two of them, I think. So you can divide this again if you wish. And then just plant them where they're going to be wet. So these can be divided apart. Just break the chunk between them with your hand. And they have their own little crowns. So you can have lots of plants from this, and then they will all multiply. Okay, that's how it's done. Bye. I only thought I had three astilbes, but I moved them from where they were at the drain of the bathtub outside, the outdoor bathtub, the hot water tub out in the cedar hammock, cedar, corner cedar. I moved them over to the edge of the teapot pergola by the greenhouse and I just dug those three up and they have really multiplied. I separated them and I put a rock by each one of them. See how many there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. There are 16 of them. I divided the, the crowns. They were in little clumps. I dug it all up and then I split it apart and then I planted them separately. So I have 16 possible big plants. They like to be wet and so right beside the pond is a good spot. Yippee! I did it. I'm so glad I did it. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. So we've now got a still be here. And then down beyond it is bergamot or bee balm or monarda. Oh look, and we also have some dragonflies. They've come to save us from the bugaboos. One over here, look at them all. My goodness, how fabulous they are. Come get this deer fly. Get him. Just get him before he gets me. Okay, that was my still bees, however many I said there were. It's only three. Bye.